Hello everyone, I am HexDSL and I'm going to talk to you today about the Linux game Grab the Bottle, which is like a puzzle game about grabbing things and pulling them back. Um, I've played 45 minutes of it, which is actually enough because I'm starting to feel myself get a little bit frustrated by it because I'm stupid, apparently, and puzzle games leave me all salty. Um, so yeah, th th we'll have a little look. Uh, the game, uh, you start off as a baby grabbing a bottle, and from what I understand, you progress through stages of life. Um, and yeah, so it's soda bottles when you're a little bit old, and then then alcohol bottles, and you know it's all very interesting stuff. Um, and there's I think there's a pseudo narrative there definitely going on. Um, but the game has got some really interesting puzzles, which is why I wanted to talk about. It, even though I'm too stupid to do them, they're interesting. It's priced at five pounds ninety nine, but my copy was delivered to me via a key mailer website um, directly from the developer. Uh, there's a lot of cool art. Actually, I noticed how much work has gone into the Steam page. There's like quite a bit of stuff going on there. It's quite nice. And what do you need to run it? A computer. You need a computer to run it, yes, because it's got very low requirements, which is good, which is what we want. Uh, it is a Unity game, and uh, it has a couple of bugs um, that mm, it was a little bit annoying, but uh, not exactly. Well, one of them was game breaking, but it's not really a problem because you just exit and reload. It's not like it's gonna, you're going to lose any major progress other than perhaps one level. So, here's the game made with Unity. I love that logo. <laughs> Okay, uh, go on, Gabe. Go on. The reason I had to go into the game is because if I tab out, the glitches show up more, um, which I didn't want to sort of that to happen. Um, yeah, let's start off with the the basics. Probably the first bit is probably the best one to be at. Okay, so the baby wants the bottle. Very straightforward. Uh, tutorial. Your goal is to get the bottle and grab it. We don't really need anything past that sentence, really. Press grab to continue. So, here we go. And we're using the left and right arrow keys to steer the freaky hand. What happens if we hit anything? Ouchie! The hand then's a little bit redder. And if we hit the next time we hit something, whoosh! Snap! Gone! Um, so, let's go. And Chop left, chop left! Just left and right. And then we can hold down down to go faster. So if once you've locked in, you can just, yay! And then just hit the grab, which up is always grab. Up is always the grab button. Okay, that was, that was it. Yay! Okay, press grab to continue, which is up. Next one. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. I have a terrible cough. I don't know why. Okay, now. Uh, let's go. I don't even like a smoke. I don't understand if I smoke loads. It'd be fine. I'd be like, this is my fault. But I don't smoke. So I don't know why I have a cough. Go get the dummy or pacify, depending on where you're from, before we progress on to the big cheese. The bottle. The reason we're here. The reason this heist is taking place. I love the snapback. It's pretty cool. And this is fine, right? You're thinking, like, this is easy. And then it starts getting more and more complicated until you go, oh, my God, I just don't even... I'll just buy the baby a new bottle. So, okay. So this is this is where we find our first level of interactivity. So, it's not just, like, a static environment to go around. There's something going on. You have to hit this ball in order to progress. So, what do we do? We get the dummy or pacifier, depending on where you're from. Don't know why it's called a pacifier. Okay, and grab it. Yay! Yay! There you go. And you're thinking, like, how could it get more complicated? What could they possibly add layers to confuse all Hex? It looks easy. What's his problem? Well, okay. The problem is now. Okay, well, well I can tell you this. We don't, need, we don't need tutorial. I can tell you. God damn it. Okay, so. In order to get this, what we have to do now is we have to get the, uh, we have to get the dummy. And we then have to go. So we get the, first of all, we can get the dummy. Look. And then we need to pick up this box down here because obviously we can't loop back. And then when we let go, he drops it. See? And they can get it. Now, that is a very simple mechanic. When you're holding something, it starts going back. And when you let go, it starts going forward again. A very simple mechanic, which means that sometimes random objects are there to help you. Other times they're just there. So in this case, and so in this case, we need to go, we need to go. Of here, look, just just a little bit around here, look. Yeah, I don't. I'm probably doing this wrong, actually. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Now we can we can we can grab this thing and then. I don't know why I went this far. I was just illustrating a point. I don't need to do that really. And then boom, drop it. Oh, then then just hurt my hand. Ah, and then we can go right down here, and we can go for this one, the next one, and then we can loop back around to the bowl. So, it's obvious, right? The next bit, though, I think it's the next one, where it starts being less than obvious, and you go, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. 
and that's when I'm kind of out. I like the fifth is aesthetic and the weird hand with the little, you can see the little ridges on the knuckles, which is weird. Especially like, I suppose babies do have that, but yeah. Okay, so, so this time we know, right, we know that we need to drop that glass thing that's shiny over there, look, onto this thing here. There, we know that we want to drop that thing there. So, let's let's get it, let's get it. And then, so, we need to drop it. And then we could go again. I'm, I'm going to do this wrong. Look, I've already done this wrong. Look, yeah, that's that's fine. Can we, can we wait, let's have it now? No, shit. I don't see. How I'm going to do this now. I've done. I've done. Fucked up, guys. I've done. This is, and this is why. This is where you start to realize how stupid I am. Oh no, no. This might be all right. This might be all right. This might be all right. Yeah. Yeah. They nailed it. I've actually done this one before as well, which is what's really bad. I don't really like seeing how far it goes. Oh, I use too much because it rates you on how much arm you use. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay. So, this time, some objects, you have to, like, you have to meddle with them. Stop. Give me tips. I've done this. Some objects, you have to, like, unscrew them in order to do things. And uh, this is where the game starts to get a bit smart, though, because I'll show you how bad I am, and then you'll see what, what my problem is. So, we can unscrew this one, look. Okay, see, that one's great. See, that's great. Yay! You can straight that. Oh, shit. See, now, now I'm on the clock. Now I'm like, now I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. And it's like, if I touch anything now, I'm, I'm doomed. Doomed, I tell you. So this piece of paper here, which has no actual bearing on the puzzle, I just need to hold... To reverse time. That's it. Well, I did. I should have got that first, I suppose. But yeah, that's that's the, the basic premise of it. Now, what did I do wrong? We don't know, right? So, uh, if you hit escape, you can go into... Oh, no. Hold on. Maybe you can't do it yet. Who knows? Oh, okay. We'll, we'll go back to the main menu, and then I will uh, show you the thing. <coughs> so. This one, for instance. Yay! Okay, so on this one, we don't know what to do. Now, I've got, a, I've got a glove on. The reason I've got a glove on is because I activated indestructibility. So, without indestructibility, I hit something twice. Ouch, 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 and the hand snaps back, right? Oh, ouch, the hand snaps back. But, if I turn on indestructibility, oh, and don't hit escape too many times, now I can hit things many times as I want, and nothing goes wrong, see? Ow. 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 See? It's fine. Uh, and it means you can explore the level and kind of find the best route without having to keep going from the start over and over and over. Which is alright. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. I mean, there, there are... Oh, shit. There are, there are things wrong with it. And this is where the bugs come from. Like, for instance, because of the nature of indestructibility, you get to this point where you can get yourself... See if we can do it. It's probably a bug I actually created myself, really, by being so bad at the game. But if you curl it around enough and you get to the point, you get to this point where you can, you know, maybe it's just a glitch I can't replicate. But you can get to this point where um, you can start passing through yourself and the, the game goes all really weird and collisions stop working and it just starts stuttering. I've had that twice now and it's very weird. And on this one here, because of indestructibility, I'm unable to go, I'm unable to really progress because the indestructibility has got me stuffed. So then I've got to go back here. I've got to turn off indestructibility. It's annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that one. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah. This, this is where I get stupid. Yeah, that, that's the basic premise of the game, though. Like, this bit here, look. You have to, like... Okay, you have to... Mm. So we go above that, and then we can drop something, that apple, on the sand pit. See? Drop the apple on the sand pit. Off. There you go. And that's safe now. Oh, shit. That's, that's just safe now. It's the theory. How on earth you get this bottle, though, is, is a complete mystery to me. There is also a... Uh, I've already done this level once, and I can't remember how I did it. But uh, there is a, a strategy guide, and that just gives numbers. All it does is put numbers on, and telling you which thing to get in what order. Um, 
And you can also midway go, oh, what disruptibility on? Oh, it, I, I thought it carried on without stopping, but apparently it doesn't. Oh, well. Yeah, oh. Yeah, can we get the apple? Yay. No, 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 God, yeah. This is this is where I get confused. But anyway, that that's it. That's that that's the, the grab the bottle game, which I can't imagine being better on a on a on a joy pad than it the joy pad? How old am I? I can't imagine it being better con on a controller than it is um than it than it is with a keyboard and mouse. But there seems to be quite a lot of levels. There seems to be like quite a few. Um because the, the stuff that I've seen here and then the stuff that I've seen in the trailer and stuff for the game implies that there's quite a few things going on. So I think if you like puzzle games and you're not as stupid as I am, I think it's entirely possible that you'll get a lot of joy out of this game. And I think it's certainly a really well-made game. It's an interesting game. That bug where sometimes it goes indestructible and it screws everything up isn't the end of the world because you just exit and reload the game and carry on the same level. It just takes a few seconds to sort out. It's not like you're going to lose all your progress because at the end of every level, it sort of saves at that point and then you can unlock the next level, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's very unusual. The weirdest, weirdest kind of puzzle game I've seen in a while, but I really like it. Um, again, I am too stupid to play it though. It's like I need, I need. It's like I've got an actual problem. Like I, I just, I just can't do it. I think I probably could. Like I probably, if I like wanted to sit and figure it out, I could. But I'm always like with puzzle games. I'm always like I don't. I'd rather shoot things. I just want to shoot things. Is all I want in life. So yeah. I'm in HexDSL. This has been Grab the Bottle. Uh, you can like and subscribe if you feel so inclined, or do the other thing, or leave a comment. That'd be great. People should leave more comments. And if you want to check me out and give me some monies, you can do that on Patreon. I've been Hex. Bye bye.